A Tampa area judge has advised his colleagues, as well as lawyers, that a person on probation should not be restricted from taking medical marijuana if they have a card. Now, this is following after a St. Petersburg judge denied a person on probation from using medical marijuana for the debilitating medical condition. So let's talk about it. Hey, everybody, it's Dr. David. So several months ago, I reported about a judge. Um, her name is Dorothy Vaccaro, who's in St. Petersburg, who refused to let this patient. This um, uh, It was a defendant who was being put on probation, so not in jail, prohibited her from using her medical marijuana for anxiety, despite the fact that she had a legal card and a doctor deemed it was a debilitating condition. In fact, the judge went on to suggest that she should take Xanax as well. And that was obviously a kind of a big thing because that ain't no doctor. So I actually did a full video on this. You'll see the link down in the in the show description down below if you want to watch it. Um, but, you know, that was obviously something that a lot of people had problems with. Now, recently, this Pinellas County circuit judge, so Pinellas County is where St. Petersburg and Clearwater are located. Um, his name is William Burris, and he wrote what's called a non-binding legal statement that advised that defendants who are on probation shouldn't be prohibited for, um, from using medical cannabis. Obviously, this is not somebody who is in jail who is wanting to use it, although I could certainly make an argument that a person who has a medical con uh, debilitating condition should be allowed to use whatever their doctor recommends. Obviously, you wouldn't say, oh, I'm sorry, because you're in prison. You don't get to use your insulin, right? You don't get to take your Xanax. Um, but nonetheless, this is actually not that. This is a person who is um, being put on probation. OK, now um, the, the, this Judge Burris actually said this was not a direct response to what, doc uh, what Judge Vaccaro said, but it sure does seem to be... Um, a timely coincidence, let's put it. So anyways, citing previous law, and I'm going to quote this, he said that a court cannot impose a special condition on probation that effectively prohibits the defendant from participating in a state medical marijuana program. Okay, and then he also actually went on to refer to the Florida statute that says that, that, that nobody can require a defendant to prove that they have a medical condition once a doctor has already certified a patient for medical marijuana. And again, every state is different. This is specific to the Florida program. Now, also, the judge went on to state that, um, you know, that although other judges can consider a patient's um, history of drug use, OK, especially abuse, um, but only if it's related to the um, to the abuse that is considered um, recent and significant or chronic, which of this judge um, who um, violated this patient, um, the, um, this medical marijuana patient did not do. Now, the judge Burris, who wrote this memorandum, um, said that um, he did this in order to use it as a reference for lawyers and other um, um judges um, in, who are in their particular county, in Pinellas County, um, and said that that would also help attorneys who are arguing for their um, client's case, okay? Um, but they do say that um, there is a three-step process involved that a um, if a judge could deny um, a medical marijuana patient um, their card, but there's a specific series that has to go in. So first of all, there has to be a determination by the judge um, or not, or the, the lawyer has to pursue, that the patient has a legitimate medical cannabis card in the first place that has not expired. Okay, that's obvious. If you don't have a card, you cannot possibly um, be legal in the system because that's how it goes. Now, the court then has to determine that the, that the cannabis use had a substantial relationship for the particular crime that the person was being sentenced under. And then the court would also need to consider if the medical marijuana um, was um, restricting the marijuana would be consistent with public policy, as well as if the public would be protected by the person not being able to use the medical marijuana. Okay, so that's what he said. These are the three things that a judge needs to do before they can should consider whether they should be restricting a person. And again, none of that happened either. Now, but by doing this, this is considered a memorandum that memorializes. So forevermore, again, this can be used in other courts of law um, in order to um, to for for the defense of the patient. Um, and again, you know, of course, judges still have the ability to um, judge as they see fit, right? So this isn't a uh, 
This isn't a statement of law. This isn't something that was passed by um, Tallahassee in legislation, etc., like that, or an executive order. But it, ser it still serves as protection as well. So, you know, since I made that original video there, I know that there are other people who have been caught up by this judge. In fact, people have reached out to me directly, seeing if there's ways that I can help. And uh, most recently, it was actually right before this came out. So, you know, this this law actually I mean, not this law. It was, this was written a few weeks ago, but we just came to my attention um, recently. So if anybody does know of any patients, medical marijuana patients, defendants who are still having problems because of this. I would like to hear about it. I'd like to know um, what's what's happening. And of course, if they cited um, this judge's uh, memorandum and to see how that helps. So if you know of anybody, if you hear of anything, I'd, I'd love to hear about it because I'd like to be able to report further whether this judge's memorandum has actually helped. So there you go. Have a nice day.